Princess Mary with us. Come on. Hello, guys. Ah. Okay. <laughs> By the way, wireless microphones in 1718 didn't always work. I don't now, according to traditional, according to traditional accounts, Blackbeard. Uh, ask them, who are you and from whence did you come? And Robert Maynard yeah, said, well, down. you can see by our flag, the Royal Navy flag, there were no pirates. And Blackbeard said, come aboard so I can see better who you are. And Maynard said, well, I can't spare my, my ship's boat, but I will come aboard with you as soon as I am able. They were out there off of Springer's Point and they began to get uh, stuck on various shallow spots and sandbars out there. And... Um, Oi, sir, we're getting ready to board you. Now, Maynard said it, um, Blackbeard said, "Who? Are, what are you here for? And he said, I'm here to capture you. I'm here for you, and I will take you dead or alive. And at that moment, Blackbeard knew that he had no choice but to put up a fight. He actually, he actually begged Maynard to let him pass. He said, we will not meddle with you if you don't meddle with us. And Blackbeard actually attempted to make sail and to sail out of Overcoat Inlet to escape. Uh, unfortunately, there was not enough wind for him to get enough headway to be able to get away from Maynard. So Maynard eventually closed the distance and was able to come in close to Blackbeard's ship adventure. And then Blackbeard fired a broadside, which killed uh, about 20 of Maynard's men on deck of the ship, on, on deck of the Jane Sloop. Blackbeard thought that he had killed the majority of uh, Maynard's men because in all of the smoke they couldn't really see who was left and uh, once the two sloops came together Blackbeard only saw four or five Royal Navy sailors aboard and he told his men let's jump aboard and finish them off this will be very easy and that's what you're about to see. That would be the broadside that killed many of Lieutenant Maynard's men. Now Maynard did a very smart thing. He ordered the survivors, the majority of those men who were not killed by that broadside, he told them to all go below and to stay below decks. So there were only a couple of live sailors standing on deck, including Lieutenant Robert Maynard, and that's what encouraged Blackbeard to close the distance between the two vessels and then to jump aboard Maynard Sloop and to begin the hand-to-hand -hand combat uh, that was the beginning of the end of Blackbeard's life. Just imagine you all are actually witnessing history because this is something that has not been done in 295 years. Now if you see the smaller boat off to the left, uh, that is the uh, that is the boat that represents the uh, the small sloop ranger. They had run aground and they had to witness most of this battle from a distance before they could finally. They had to toss all of their casks of water overboard so that they could lighten their vessel and get off the sandbar. And at that point, the battle was already underway, the hand-to-hand -hand combat phase, which you're getting ready to see.
And now begins the hand-to-hand -hand combat phase of the battle. There were actually 12 Royal Navy sailors who engaged Blackbeard's 10 pirates in hand-to-hand -hand combat. There was a lot of smoke on board the boat or the ship because of uh, all of the, the pistol shots and, and cannon fire. It was very difficult to see. By the way, before the battle began, both pirates and Royal Navy vessels covered the decks of those boats with sand because it was well known that in, in a sword fight on the ship, the decks would get very bloody and they'd get, the decks would become very slippery. So they coated the decks with sand so that they would have traction and be able to stand. There's Blackbeard fighting Robert Maynard. Oh, Blackbeard. Blackbeard is... They just cut his head off. Oh. The Royal Navy sailors win. And soon, and there's Blackbeard's head. They have cut Blackbeard's head off and they're going to bring it ashore now.